Hello everyone, my name is Miss Heidi and I'm from the Bloomfield Public Library and today I'm going to be reading a story called Sneezy the Snowman written by Maureen Wright and illustrated by Stephen Gilpin. This is the perfect time of year for the Sneezy the Snowman as our weather in January starts to get cold and maybe even a little snowy. So here we go, Sneezy the Snowman. Sneezy the snowman shivered. Brr, it's cold out here, that's for sure. I need a drink to warm me up. So he drank cocoa from a cup. He said with a smile, I like this a lot. And then right there, believe it or not, he melted from drinking something too hot. The children cried out, what should we do? A voice from the puddle said, make me brand new. They rebuilt Sneezy as snowflakes flew, a cold winter wind swirled and blew. The snowman sneezed a gigantic achoo. I'm sneezing and freezing and shivering too. A little girl said, then let's share. I have something you can wear. Here's my hat to put on your head. You look awesome, the children said. The snowman blinked his coal black eyes. The stocking cap was a nice surprise. But Sneezy the snowman shivered, brr. It's cold out here, that's for sure. I am freezing every minute. I'll find a hot tub and sit right in it. He found one and smiled. I like this a lot. And then right there, believe it or not, he melted from sitting in water too hot. The children cried out, what should we do? A voice from the hot tub said, make me brand new. They rebuilt Sneezy as snowflakes flew, a cold winter wind swirled and blew. The snowman sneezed a gigantic achoo. I'm sneezing and freezing and shivering too. A little boy said, then let's share. I have something you can wear. Here's my scarf that's red and blue. I think it would look great on you. The snowman blinked his coal black eyes. The colorful scarf was a nice surprise. It went very well with the long pink hat. The children all said, how about that? But Sneezy the snowman shivered, brr, it's cold out here, that's for sure. I need to feel some warmth on me. There's a campfire by that tree. Uh-oh. He said with a smile, I like this a lot. And then right there, believe it or not, he melted from standing beside something hot. The children cried out, what should we do? A voice from the puddle said, make me brand new. They rebuilt Sneezy as snowflakes flew. A cold winter wind swirled and blew. The snowman sneezed a gigantic achoo. I'm sneezing and freezing and shivering too. A little girl said, then let's share. I have something you can wear. Here's my coat, the perfect fit. I know that you'll look good in it. The snowman blinked his coal black eyes. The bright orange coat was a nice surprise. It went very well with the scarf and hat. The children all said, how about that? But Sneezy said, Woof, I'm way too hot. 
I'll take off all these new clothes I've got. The children yelled, no, that's not the way. Listen to what we have to say. But something cold at the ice cream store. Have two scoops or three or four. <gasps> mm. Sneezy ate ice cream, seven scoops high. This is great, the snowman cried. I'm not too cold and I'm not too hot. And I'm wearing clothes I like a lot. Then after eating every bite, he said, at last I feel just right. The end. And that was Sneezy the Snowman. He figured it all out with the help from his friends to wear something warm and eat something cold. And it seemed like that was just the perfect fit for Sneezy the Snowman. I hope you enjoyed the story today. Tune in for more. We have lots of great stories this month. Thank you.